on. I just, Begin. but I'm glad I finished it because that was that was such a, a great story and the way it ended. I can't wait for Injustice Three. Right, we got Allegiance this Dragon, the World Champ, going up against the Young Monster. If it tries to go for a throw there, maybe a little bit too far away. The character Dragon has a lot of experience with having used multiple times in tournament. And the plays are much differently than you see like a young monster who's very aggressive. He played Wonder Woman about as lame as you can. Ooh, and throwing Ooh, him. and baited him out there. Yeah, Dragon thought he was going to do that That plus a billion normal. Caught him with that, that lasso. Getting some good damage. 380 young monster coming in with the lasso again. What a start here by Young. Other. Yeah, message set pointing the sword. This is for Thema Skira, baby. Low. Good block there by Dragon. He's mixed up very well with the back two and the fourth one, but he puts himself in the corner. Yeah, I saw that. How did how did it wager behind? With a clash. I don't even know. The clash actually switched positions. What? Maybe it was it was an unintentional wager by Dragon and it just hit hit behind. Or he just made the rate of lifetime and wagered the right way. We'll find out on the next episode. Ooh, caught him with the lasso over his head and crouched that entire forward one too. It looked like even the overhead grab so her, went clear over it. Her sweet or her is uh, is a low profiling legend in the NRS scene. She's like the tallest female character there is too. It's crazy. The dragon having none of it, taking the remainder of Young Monster Stealth Bar completely still in this thing just needs some meter because young monster has a ton of safety and that meter burn shoulder the wonder woman possesses it could come at any moment especially when she meter burns oh that's a full combo follow up. and if, if you wouldn't have dropped that that would have been it that may be it and the swag by young monster the meter burn canceled the conversions the complete wonder woman Now my young monster, I love his use of that shuttle tackle just to close distances, force mistakes, meter burning it, not meter burning it. Already got the corner game, and his corner game is disgusting. Huge damage, meterless at that. 370. And he's mixed up very well with that back two and the forward one in the corner. Really caught Dragon off early and did some decimating damage. Oh, and tried to, tried to counter with something there. Got beat out by the down two and able to hit confirm on the forward one too, even though the first hit whipped. Ooh, that's whip And Dragon, the reactionary dive kick. Very nice. Oh, there's that sweep. Oh, <laughs> oh tries to go sneaky low there. 10.50 each. Dead even here to second bar of health for both of these men. Young Monster pressing, pressing some buttons there. Nope, no low profiling that time around. An early wager by Young. You will get the chance. If anything, this is just to stop Dragon from gaining the momentum. This is going to put us close to even. And put him right in the head there with that shield. Oh my he goodness! He goes under, the, under the whole thing. It's an overhead. That's you can't go any lower than an overhead. Like, why? Why? Oh my goodness. I, I, I'm i disgusted right now. Yield, woman. Never, Adam. Okay, Dragon gonna get that 25% back. Both sitting on a bar of meter, which for either of these characters is really good damage. Gonna burn the bar. Corner switch. Push Young Monster in. Will he wake up? Yes, he will. Nice, down one, burns it too. Good to punish, trade's coming on. Are we gonna get, no, no, no meter to meter roll. Anything like that does come off the trade as well. Good jump, but it's too active. It looked like he jumped perfectly. Man, it's, this is a good matchup so far. Okay, negative 33. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really, really negative. It just doesn't seem like it. Ooh, a nice conversion here by Young Monster. 380, beats out the wake up with the lasso. Come here, sir. Dragon trying to get his turn back. 
And it, it's it's got to feel weird, you know, that forward one, two. You've got to be scared that she's going to go right under that thing. I know I would be scared. Good interrupt. There by Dragon, not letting him start that rotation. We've seen him shred people in the corner with that string. You have to interrupt that gap and you have, gap, you have to be perfect on it. Oh, not again! Jesus! <laughs> that sweep again. Oh my goodness! Yeah. <laughs> A lot of jump ins into single hits, just kind of testing Dragon here. Young Monster sitting really pretty. Dragon just trying to find out what he can do there and gets a black magic. Well, he do the background bounce. Oh, and he missed. I don't know why. I'm not even going to question that. A throw by Young Monster not going to deal with the down one after. It gets Hermes. I think that was a trade he might have been looking for to keep his mobility up. That was a beautiful use of the one trade there and trying to stagger things, keep it unwagerable. And a little profile again. Disgusting work here from Young Monster. And that's going to be all chip. Nothing like eating a BMB for blocking. Nice mix off the down one. Having to hold that down one too. Mixing things up greatly. And the immediate read back by Dragon to jump after the down one. Oh, and he's trying to go for ambiguity here. And instead. Young monster up 2-1. Shield slamming this man back down mid. Begin. So there's a mid and an overhead in there. That, it, it's just dope. <laughs> Hot. You see Dragon there trying to throw out that black magic after that air shield. Training with it this time around. Young Monster spaced incredibly well. Will we see Dragon go for some more intense mids? Will we see some back twos out here in the middle of nowhere? Dragon just trying to find that space, trying to get away from this, this Wonder Woman. Her lasso carries so much distance, and so does that shield. I like what I like the mind game that Young played there too. Seen if Dragon would try to blow up that gap, it took away the gap into some plus frames. If it would have hit, would have got the corner game going. Nice back dash and through the the lasso of truth, Keep, keeping Dragon honest here. A little bit. But every time he tries to go for his turn with that forward one, too, Young Monster has a down one, a sweep, just a contest. But here we go. Dragon going to take the health lead and then some. Oh, and caught him with a black magic there. Should close out that first health bar. Dragon trying to take us to yet another game five. This time. No low profiling done. Dragon able to get something going. Trying to send us to a game number five. Evening Stars Young Monster. He now has 1050 health to go. Pull off an upset. And this isn't even to make top eight. The Young Brothers have been so close. Ooh. Great, great whip punish with that down one. They've been so close to top eight each and every single week for the season. We're bound to see it. Dragon does get caught pressing a button there. It's my turn to rule. Not if I'm still breathing. Dragon does have quite a bit more meter than Young. Gonna get 25% back. Trying to stay alive here. Young Monster catches him out of the air. A nice instant air too. <laughs> Young Monster has some, some swaggy stuff here in the right pressure. In his face. And now that's Wonder Woman's sweet spot, just like Brainiac. Once she gets in that lasso range, she can do a whole lot of different stuff. Back into the corner, you go tied in the mix again. And this is simple Dragon, chip out territory. Young Monster, young Monster gonna do the chip and send Dragon down to losers. Which is a character I thought we would see more of, uh, that being Firestorm. Out of the buffed characters this patch, I think Firestorm may be the least we've seen. Ooh. Oh, catch him with that molten trap. Stay out of the air. I will trip guard you with this. All right, guys. This is Emperor Combat. A guy who's been causing a lot of upsets this season. And that, that is going to be a great tool against Humble. He's caught. Dabbed out so many times. Airborne. With a lot of different things. Is that clear? Oh, he gets done. 
Meter cancel instead. Some big boy Jeez. damage. Big boy damage there Not from Tavern. Canceling down once. And the 50-50 lower overhead there. And, we, and sometimes, guys, you just got to eat the low. Yeah. I don't know. When when Firestorm is level 3 trait, man, it is... I mean, it's really... He, he might be number one in the game. Who, who knows? Oh, and it just that comes in. Might, I, that was like that was a that was a cool situation where he might have gotten air snatched out of that. And oh, a punish. Confirms. Burns that bar. And now we're getting the ambiguous stuff. Which side? Overhead. They always go for the overhead after that block. Cause you're unsure of which side he actually hit on, and by the time you realize you get you get hit with that overhead, which does launch when he's in level three. Plus when Firestorm is traded up like that, he, he does heal himself just a little bit at a time. And this is going to be unclashable. Oh, no. Air tank, but had a down one starfish waiting for him. Tries to come in. Wait a minute. Dab on 10 points of health and activates the trait so he can come back with a little bit more health. I respect it. And if he builds more bar, he can clash as well and get just a little bit more health. But that low doesn't have any meter, though. Could have gotten punished there. Oh, nice Ooh, damn it. Alco nuclear. Just try it, dumbass. That had to have been the most perfect clash. He's immune to fire, Firestorm. What are you doing? Ooh, I had to feel the 50 50 was coming there. And coming up that EX load does so much damage. This is going to be close to the kill. And. Out of the way, Dab! Holy with, cow. with the revive paying off! Yeah, I know the console version was kind of. Yeah. But here we go, Emperor Combat trying to tie this thing up here. And after that win from Dab, he's got to be feeling himself. Dab gets a little too crazy with all these floats. Now he got caught. Look at that down one range of Firestorm. I did not realize it went that far. The air snatch out of the air. And that's the only spot oh. that you can get a 4 3 off of that. Unfortunately, that was a huge drop. By Dab, one of the best gamer tags in all the interesting. Jack's lives matter. Always, you guys, guys R.I.P. Never forget, Jacks. Was never allowed to live. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and missed the ender there. Oh, and that's going to be a full punish. Was not going to do the chip damage. Still had about 35 hit points remaining. Emperor combat. If he does it again, though, it will chip. But that fireball is going to be enough. Ooh, beautiful gut shot at the last second cancel. That should be meterless death into that command grab where he beats the ever loving piss out of you with that stone fist. Patience there. Moderate My dad, but unfortunate. Unfortunately, got caught. Not watching his toes. Ooh, the back three almost converting. Yeah, that's, that's one of Firestorm's new luxury buffs there. Gets the control. Had just how far that back three goes, which adds for some interesting conversions from these guys. It's very similar to Hellboy's where he leans back and goes very far forward. Beautiful. Last Ooh. second cancel again. Tried to, tried to go with an anti-air sweep there as Emperor Combat got stuffed out for it. Wait a minute. All unclassable, 400. And now we're traded up, baby. Oh, no. We're not going to do a whole lot. Double forward three. But, oh! oh my god, he committed to that mix up. That is completely true. I, I kind of want to see Hellboy's special, or su Super, I'm sorry. But we very rarely ever even see Supers unless it's a flash. Nice conversion oh here. Oh my god. Just, just keeping things plus. Pre Let the man play the game. Pre pressure is on. And a little bit of impatience there by, by Emperor Combat. Yeah. Dab avoids that chip damage. Combat is at, is at least keeping him honest with those. He didn't punish it the first time around. And they can be tricky to punish if you don't see it coming. By the time you think to punish, it's already too late. Nice speed up for a cancel. Had enough yet, pal. Professor and I don't think so. Dab plenty of meter to work with. Spins all three of them. Both of them empty. Emperor Combat sitting so pretty right now. Not even 
half of his first health bar is taken. And you, using the simple, oh. si simple hard knockdown too there, Hellboy does have some tricky stuff off of, you know, you quickly end those conversions where you don't have to come off so many resources for a little bit of damage to try to reset them with those knockdowns as we're speaking. Combat is a mixin'. Hit the overhead. That bad boy launches. When he's when he's when he's feeling blue. And the cross up so dirty! Uh -oh. Not enough range on that 4-3 though. No punish and it Woo! completely with, but it's okay. Dab able to pick it up there. What the hell was that? We're, we're seeing a lot of characters that are just doing jump normals and the special moves, getting 300 damage. Those are BMPs, ladies and gentlemen. What a meter break kills with a down two, so sexy. I thought it was going to whiff. I thought he may have been too high, but wait a minute. Starfish gets him out of the air. And you, Oh, actually barely making it through. I thought that was going to be a great read from combat to so just keep throwing those out and hit an anti air. And the activation doesn't become active in time. Begin. Look at that glove. That dab has glowing in about six different places. I really like the shader that dab is rolling with Ooh. right now. Knew he was going to be in the air. No Whoa! Zone. Woo! Got a jump three flow cancel in there. That was gorgeous. Dab doing all the tricky stuff. Really trying to get the most out of his hits now. These are a lot of inputs that dab is putting in. I, I really like that that, that doom fist that Dab has on it. I can't stop staring at it. I had a feeling when I first saw Hellboy gameplay in the first couple matches that he was going to take a long time. All the all the directional inputs, everything you have to put into for Hellboy, it's going to take a while to develop. All these crazy little things that we're starting to see. As reversal throws, he was about to melt down He's in the corner. Good by yeah. my, my combat here. Oh, good night. Going back to the game duck hunt right there. Just shooting him straight out of the air. Wait a minute. Commits to the... Oh, God. That Dab is feeling himself now. Emperor Combat going to have to find some way to get this to stop. That, that Samaritan sure does uh, come in handy sometimes. Woo. He's level three now, healing just a little bit. You can see his health bar just kind of ticking upwards. Dab having none of it. And once that level three is gone, he won't have it again for the remainder of this match, more than likely. Ooh. Ooh. Using the back dash to barely escape that. Oh no, it's gonna be unclashable still. Red him going in the air, nothing. I I'm not sure Hellboy might be able to get him with the revolver as a punish from that distance, but it's tough. He's so negative, but Dab cleaning it up here. Meter burns. Oh no, and he lets him clash. Just try it, dumbass. I don't know why he didn't just commit to a meter burn cancel there. He had three bars of meter. If he would have canceled it, just like he's we've seen him do multiple times before, this would be game over. But it's okay. Ooh, slowly getting health back though. His combat. Oh, that's really okay. That was so smart. The hitbox on that is. We gotta, we gotta pay homage and get that finish him in the background. In a game five, that's incredibly hype. For top 16 here on War of the Gods, week number three, over 300 entrants, three weeks in a row, never before seen for us. You guys are absolutely awesome. Woo, flying all kinds of around the stage here. Good meter for cancel, doesn't get a punish though. Dad mixed it with that 2-2 two -two into the lower overhead. And it does get the background bounce off, and oh my goodness. Ooh, that, that, that was a really tight conversion. All of his combos that, that involve the upshot and comboing after are so tight. Ooh, and he actually hit him so late with that ground pound. And it, oh my god, and it didn't even matter if he meter burned it. And, and that's what we that were talking about when the trade is active. Sometimes it's best just to sit there and take it like a champ and get, get yourself a little punish there. I like that. Ooh. Ooh! The slam dunk from... Oh my god. Knew that jump was coming in. Emperor Combat has to find something here. There's the meter for a cancel. And trade activated. Nothing Emperor Combat can do. Wants to hit him, wants to combo him, get some damage. Level 3 One trade is up. The Samaritan! Too late. Oh! 
that that was a good little 50 50 uh, that that dad played with himself to go for the wake up gunshot at that distance or the wake up air snatch that was that was really smart didn't pay off it's okay he has a whole bar felt to work with oh and it, <laughs> that was so smart Jeez. closing it out coming both of these guys and deoxys you know has really stepped up since the last time we saw him in the top eight you know playing the matchups that he's been in very very well Rewind trying to push him to the corner, gets him with the low whip trip, tries to catch him with the low there, and a nice down two. The only thing Rewind could have done in that situation was do the cat stance, which also would have been interrupted. The great start using those huge normals. You mentioned that that one being so destructive here for trading up Blue Beetle. The four two, the down two, the back twos, they're all huge. That's what she said. <laughs> Alright, Deoxys dashes in, Rewind dashes in himself, tries to get him with the load, tries to burn the trait. And the walk back from Rewind just fading any sort of button that Deoxys wants to overextend with. <laughs> I like the game that Deoxys is playing. Standing back. Oh! Letting Rewind ha hang himself. What you think of the full punish there? Down one cancel into the safety. Really smart stuff to get the Deoxys. Coming up with the overhead. Oh, and didn't get that, that final conversion. And we saw that combo earlier when when he had him right in front of the final wish too. It looked like uh, Deox was going for a 1-1-1 uh, background bounce, but wasn't in the range and maybe possibly there too. It, it's really tricky sometimes to pay attention to those alerts under the health bars. Oh, and meter burn back three out. Rewind trying to get him with the low whip. Yeah, this, this stage can cause a lot of uh, a lot of interesting things to happen when you when you when you have two characters with huge uh, you know, advancing special moves. It's sometimes hard for the spotlight to catch up to you. <laughs> and, uh, you saw there when he actually uh, punished the cat dash that they were still in the dark when he did his stand one, and it could it, it could mess you up some, sometimes. Nice anti air there with the down two. Can we see a background from Deoxys. Pass? Come on, baby. Dang it! Yeah, we. I mean, we don't get the stage very often, and we got Paulo in the chat. We need to see it. I'm stealing this fight. That's totally not cool. The rewind is sitting on five cat scratches right now. At any time, those plus frames could come out. But he has no meter. Oh, and catches the back dash with the jump in too. Gonna push him to the corner. Hard knockdown. Gets hit with with the ticket time bomb on the car. Rewind getting some pressure. Builds a bar, still has those five cat scratches at his disposal. Good disrespect by Deoxys there on the stagger. Supposed to be some big old damage in the corner. Gets, him, gets the way just smart stuff to keep the lead. Let's keep playing. Beautiful use of the jump. Boy, that's nice gonna close conversion. it out. That's, it's a tight combo there after the projectile farm. Still in this. What a guy. From sitting on top of the building to playing more of the gods. Uh, I actually hope that we get him back on stream. What, what a wonderful meme that is. Ooh, and the late active frames there from that shield. No punish. No punish. No, okay. Well. The punish a little too fast. Corner we go. Is Rewind going to mix? What a wake up Ooh. forward dash. And it looked like Catwoman had to have been a centimeter above the ground for him to get underneath. Right before she hit that ground. Beautiful stuff. These young kids with these reactions, guys. We can't keep up. That's why we're in the commentator's booth right now. Oh, caught him with a jump too. Good damage and corner push by Rewind. Ends it with the whip. Comes in. Max nice range jump too there. Need to burn rolls out. Are right, we gonna see a trade up here from Deoxys? Ooh, closing the gap oh. incredibly fast there. Was Rewind half expected to cancel off that down two. That's a, I love the gimmick that they throw with a down two into the overhead stab. 
Oh, sorry, the, uh, the, the, the low stab. That low stab, man. It's a good mix, but definitely punishable on block. We saw Rewind miss a couple of those punishes, Ooh. but he seemed to pick it up since then. Oh, and we see it again. The jump in one canceled into a float, just baiting any sort of button to whiff punish with the jump in two coming straight down. Good stuff. Keeping it safe. That's it's, it's kind of a good thing and a bad thing for Blue Beetle to be able to kind of commit anything that, that he wants into that shield bash. Um, but at best, he's only getting a little bit of damage, and at worst, he's just, he's just going to be checked for it. So it's you know it's, it's not it's not high risk, it's not high reward. It's kind of there in the middle. Like you. Little war machines afraid of cats. But he keep everything safe. Absolutely, and it, I mean. It, it's it's kind of one of those things, man. Do you commit to the whole thing and be negative if they block it? Oh, and just like that, gets them with the overhead into the low. Can't beat me. You can't beat Bruce. Does he ever lose? Rewind will burn a bar for that 15% back. Yeah. Nice health lead for Rewind. Kind of get the corner play. Oh my goodness, the second hit is straight hitting everywhere for her. And to confirm into the cat dash, this actually could have the damage possibly just under 10 health remaining. Deox is going to have to keep Catwoman out for the entirety of this, and she can't cat dash under those Cheerios, but wait a minute. Won't have the damage. Keeps it safe. Look at the mobility by Deox is right. That's man, it's all over the place. And it's oh, needs and to jump, jump in too. too. All of that effort. I want to say... He had a Supergirl at one point, possibly still does. I mean, once you play Supergirl for about, I don't know, an hour, you, you kind of got it. Give or take. Yeah. I mean, if anything, if you haven't played her since she got, since she got buffed, I mean, just play the same. You're safe now. And you do more damage. Oh, got him with the low. And burns the trait there. You see Deox is trying to interrupt. Rewind burn that trait just to bait that button. And Rewind has barely even been touched. The Wake Up Shield. Is Rewind going to start to run away with the Smash now that he has a little bit of momentum? Having taken the last game up an entire bar of health. We all know what Catwoman can do when she gets rolling. Oh my goodness! And down to him very well. As long as the ambiguous things dash up overhead again. Here from Deoxys. We see some damage. Ooh, I... Ooh. If he didn't drop that, might have gone for the restand. Oh my goodness, look at this damage! Whoa! 537! 537! Jesus! Some of this stuff the Blue Beetle is able to do now is just ridiculous. Alright, Rewind burns that trait. The Ox has found himself out of the corner, and the jump in three will not be anti aired. Burns the meter to keep him in the corner. Rewind still sitting on two bars. Deoxys probably going to sit back, launch a couple projectiles, get get a bar, get a two, I don't know. But Rewind, all he really needs is one combo to land. Wake up shield. Rewind trying to find his way in. Has three bars to work with. And that's going to be some good damage here. Rewind cannot clash. He's already clashed. Baits out the down two. As long as he keeps us, it, it doesn't drop it. And very oh good patience. Punished. Deox not be joining us in top eight this week. Both of the young brothers taken out. Dragon, do they have the recipe for success against the world champion? That is a statement if I've ever seen one. I mean, not to mention he's a world champ, but both the brothers had their shot at him. That's actually kind of nuts. Went off to, uh, down one into a jump two. He's off to a great start just like he did in the last game, but we know how far that has gotten him. Yak is staying strong no matter what the life lead is, no matter where he is on the screen. And even something like this that could be demoralizing, that could have potentially killed Deoxys if he did not air tech there. And he would still believe. Still fight on. 
Nice down two, not able to convert there. Oh, and tried to get him with the overhead. That is punishable, that string. Maybe rewind, unsure of, of how negative it actually was. Oh, no cast off that down one either. Big ol' forward two, big ol' down two, still whiffing. A lot of whiffs from rewind in that situation. Down twos, throws, gets hit with the last remaining Cheerio here. But rewind only has to do 100, just over 100 hit points on Do Deoxys here. A throw would do it. And it, you see him, he, he keeps trying to go for that throw, but just out of range. Deoxys walking back. Oh, and the cat dash. The read of a lifetime. And again, down so much health, and Deoxys still fighting out. Now has the health lead himself. We'll see if he can hold on to it. Going with that jump too early. Wager wants to keep that momentum. So patient, both these guys on the approach and on the keep away. Deoxys beat, deciding the one to be the one that flips the switch and get aggressive. Now back to the neutral. Rewind, yeah, he, he's got the health lead right now. Sweet, nice. the back dash. Three. Here we go. And another overhead into the low. You can't beat me, you can't beat Bruce. Does he ever lose? Clash is tied, all meter is burnt. The Ox is probably going to build the bar before Rewind does. And just needs one more special. He, he, he could have potentially thrown out one of his launchers. And possibly got a late meter burn on it. Oh, and that is a whiff punish. Down one and a down back one. I don't think that's what the Ox is wanted. Not sure, but that does not work on block. And that should kill. Oh. A fancy in the top eight in winners last week he started in losers and wasn't able to clutch it out and take the second week win so rewind definitely wants that winner's cushion going into this top eight this week beautiful down nice two. down two one of the best if not the best down twos in the game blue beetle with a six frame down two and nice punish there by rewind on that three three oh and tried to go with a little Tricky stuff right there. Maybe baiting out the wake up, trying to hit him after the invincible frames. We had another game five for you guys tonight. This is this has been a hype week of war, the gods. Some stagger pressures, rewind. The Ox is over committing into that low, getting punished. Finally, rewind on those punishes now. Ball for stagger into the throw. One more hit's all he needs. Jumping back, looking for the wake up there. I like that from Rewind. Just in case. You never had it. Yeah, that, that wake up, man, it, it's, you can still catch him on whiff. I mean, he's still sitting there for a minute, just not as long as he used to. Good push block good there. Good push block. That's probably the first one we've seen all match so far. Rewind trying to hit that back two, just testing that space. Get him with the low whip. Deox has got to find something to work out. He's got to get rid of Rewind's first health bar. By any means necessary. He has the meter to do it. Yeah, something into a meter burn cancel here. Might be coming. Good check. Rewind is just a brick wall of defense. Checking him after everything. Oh, back to the oh, meter burn cancel himself. Oh no, the 4-3. The push block and the back dash after it. Oh, oh no! Which is the high he crouched. Wait a minute. He had an opportunity. Six of he has a clash. Rewind throwing those tea bags. This is all but done. Six health remaining. One cat dash is all it's going to take, but it will not go through those those Cheerios. She'll actually get hit. Oh, and the jump two into the whatever he follows up with is going to chip. Let's make things easy. I, d I did not know they're at the bottom. Emperor Combat with a 3 0 against Gun Show in the Firestorm Mirror. Wait. Gunny is out. 3 0 Emperor Combat.
with the wind Whoa. in the Firestorm mirror. Wow. Shout out to Gunny, Gunny for showing up this week. Man. Emperor Combat showing up. All right, Nubcake's getting some good damage here. And he tried to, yeah, he's been doing that all night, just kind of mixing in his, his jump ins, the floats, the glitter. Samij not falling for it. And burns everything. Catching Nubcake's, hitting a the button there when he activated that trait. Oh, and just catches Nubcake's again pressing the button. That's going to be huge. Confirms into a cat dash. Tweety saying this match with Gurr was last hit 2 2. Nubcake's on the comeback here. Does have enough to get a trade out. And gone like the wind with that down two. Woo! Oh my goodness. Oh, Samish came off a lot of meter to try to stay alive there. Magic Pixel, this man. One battering, taking that away. Very high level gameplay between these two early in this set. Nubcake's just trying to bait Samish into over committing on something. And Samish had that interactable. I want to trust you. Then quit yanking my tail. Nubcake's 25% back. Samij has not even been touched in the second health bar to back two, three. Contest there in the middle of that string. Cross up. Oh, and a whiff punish. But just enough to get the back one, one trait. Easy confirmed Confirms. there. Easy confirmed yep. there. Into the kill, Samij. Out for blood. He is he, he is your current champion. Top 12 rankings. All right, tries to open up, kicks up with the whip trip. Gets the slide to connect. Didn't burn the trait bats. And for saving him, picked up a good combo, but dropped it. May have been better off just going for the slide combo. Oh, and Nubcakes with the awareness. Back dashes out of that situation. Samid's been going for a lot of those tricky little setups. You know, after that juggle. Just to hit you so late with that jump one. But Nubcakes, you know, with the awareness, dashed out of it. Didn't have to deal with it. Nice down two. Nubcakes not dealing with Catwoman in the air today. Building this meter. Which takes Batman about half the match if he wants to build a bar with Batarangs. Takes about half the match, Timer, to actually get a bar. 30 something Batarangs to get that much meter. Ooh, going for a swaggy conversion there. Not enough on that 4 3 to reach, and no commitment on the jump in. Might have forced. Would your attempt at back three not going far enough? Nubcake's just standing his ground. I love that this man down twos with Batman. And we saw that against Hellboy as well. You know, not. Look at that three in a row. You're not claw proof. Don't be so sure. And that is the adjustment of a lifetime right now. Nubcake's not letting Samiz jump in the air and the whiff punish with the neutral jump. Full combo. Nubcake's essentially has this one in the bag. He has got to make a huge mistake to lose this match, but Samiz still not out of it. We've seen Samiz make these comebacks before. And this is the spot to do it right here in the corner. Nubcake's tried to get himself out of that situation with the slide. Got caught in the recovery. Samish burning everything and still not enough. Life bites, and so do I. Nubcake's on his second health bar now. Let's go with the bats into a throw and tech by Samish. Good block. Ooh, oh, there oh, really was no the whip oh, there. My oh my goodness. You're going to get hurt. I've got no regrets. And a rough or two after the wage is so smart by up kicks coming off the one bar to throw. There's no real way, way around it. Yeah, she has a lot of stuff that jails after that jump in too. You know, even Rainbow Pride told me once, you know, if, if you can't do anything about it, just backdash it and make it with. A good start here also. I was in full screen pulled in meter. No kicks. Doing some glitter, oh, and what a bait oh. by Samish the whole time! 
The Mija's an absolute savage. That was disgusting. That's just, man. Samij, that was dirty, man. Oh my god, and the air tag gonna get some more damage out of it. 338. And just Thank like you. that, that one little read, you're done. Hear me roar. Jesus. A lot of whiffs between these two. Testing those neutral waters. Oh! And Samij went for the went for the punish. And, and I respect it. You know, who cares about the trait bat? You know, you go for the punish. If you don't go for the punish and he doesn't release him, you'll feel terrible. Beautiful oh, and the cat dash pays off. Should I dial it back? Oh, let's keep playing. Ooh, Samish oh, calling him out with the two bars. Saying, uh, 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 you didn't say the magic word. <laughs> Shout out to, to Jurassic Park, man. I'm actually trying to find that movie right now, to be honest. Literally. There's some each sitting on 70 hit points. Dubcake's trying to build some meter. Trying to just get, don't fall for this again. Some each already done it once. What a, what a savage young man to do that. Oh, and caught him with the jump too, through a battering. Here's almost 400 damage, over 400 damage for your troubles. Burns a trait. Push block. I did not want to deal with those plus with frames. And the slide! Just Woo! the tip! There's room for him. Into home plate. Man, we saw last week. Never count out dubs. One, two, three. Tracking, his, tracking his, this woman down. Right back into the corner. He's caught by that overhead. Trait's locked and loaded. Tries to go with the, a little cross up there. Samid's not falling for it. A lot of whiffs. Down two. Shades of the last match. Samid's just needs one more hit. Tries to use the interactable. Get out oh, of that situation no. and does it again. And that should confirm into Cat Dash. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Oh, he looked like he let go of block there. Could have lived. Thing begin that you get hit by will lead to big damage in the same exact situation. So frightening. Oh, it, it absolutely is. I mean, any, like you said, anything she hits with, confirming the cat dash, big damage, resets, mix ups, plus frames, low profiling. But here we go. To me, barely taking any damage so far, and definitely dealing it here against Nubcakes. Tries to go oh, with a and down another two. one. This Just is a little bit too late. Two combos! This is the Flash and Female form. What are we witnessing? So this is your vulnerable side. Nubs need some milk. <laughs> if anybody can figure it out here, Nubcakes will be able to do it. Just got to get a little bit of momentum shifting his way. Pushes some each to the corner. Into the up battering. Plus frames. Straights up into a throw. Samish looked like he was going to go for a button there. Back to the corner, Samiji over here shimmying forward and backward with his walk, unafraid in this neutral. Now when Samiji is up a game and he's done some of the stuff he's already done in this matchup, he's You're feeling himself. Hurt. I've got no regrets. Nope, he's got to mount another comeback. If he wants to stay alive in winners. Oh no, he got hit out of the air. Confirms Cat Dash. Yeah, and he, he was still in it for a minute, but it's drifting away now. He's got to figure out something. Oh, and it gets crossed up. Oh, and coming right up the straight. The one resource he had left, and that should do it. Summies with a 3 1. Over at Nubcakes. She's just a very solid character in what she does. Yeah, there's, there's, there's always this debate of, is Wonder Woman good? Is she not good? You know what? That's always been kind of the thing. Luckily, Honeybee didn't get punished there. Could have been some good damage with the background bounce, too. And yeah, this, this stage has a, a huge background bounce area, unlike some, some stages have a very small window. And 
we're actually going to be able to see Young Monster zone a little bit, throw more shields than he did against Black Adam. Picking up where he left off already in the corner. Some disgusting damage. That down oh my so god! Big. Honeybee actually crossed up with that air dash, but still got hit by that down too. Guys, don't don't feel any sympathy oh. towards Supergirl because she can do the same exact thing, and I don't even know how he hit on both sides. That? I don't know how that hit on both sides. I don't have an explanation for that. Honeybee, the the king of execution. Only only somebody like Honeybee would do that. Oh, and threw out that teleport. Highly negative on whiff and block. Goes for it again. Honey. Tries to get a little. Tries to get a little tricky with, with young monster, but he had the blocks. Yeah, he's getting risky and aggressive. And it kind of seems that that's that's what Wonder Woman wants you to do. She wants you to take risks. She wants you to mess up. She absolutely does. She's very similar to you know kind of a blue beetle where if you don't have a character that can deal with her shield and you know some of her air shields and just all that kind of stuff, it'd be really tough. Yeah, it's it's, it's kind of a, just a frustrating uh, gameplay that'll break you down, force mistakes, and punish you very harshly for it. And on top of that, some tricks there. Ooh, the recovery on Supergirl. They're actually able to do something after that sweep. Quit holding back, Carl. Worst part's coming up. Kind of be not out of by a good. long shot. We're about even here. Anti-air laser, that looks like to be on reaction. Comes in with the back one too. Doesn't even burn the meter. There's so much respect there if she's gonna burn the meter, because you don't want to press a button to try and punish and get frozen and take damage for your trouble. Now Jeff's playing a little bit slower than he did early on this match. Great corner push and going through that jump three of Wonder Woman. No small feat. Honeybee just kind of building meter with some of these little air stalls. Oh, and goes for the mix-up. No punish from Young Monster. Looks like he went Highly for it. Negative. He went for it, but reacted a little too late. Throws a tornado at him, a special you don't normally see too much. Trying to catch B, pressing a button. Think there were plus items on the screen, but thinking that he had some space to play with. Luckily, he just stood his ground, and now Honey B gaining the health lead, gaining the momentum. Could have air dashed in, could have thrown some kind of mix. Maybe forced Young Monster to try to read that, go for a DP. Canceled off, kept it safe. Smart stuff by Honey B. We're back to mid screen. And this should be a death. nice challenge. That's twice in a row, Honeybee. Let's watch it begin. Fills them up. Yeah, a little bit, you know, 3-0. <laughs> the Ox just took it very convincingly with a 3-0, so we'll see if Tweety can can make those adjustments. Maybe he's done a little bit of homework. Oh, that's, oh wow, that not... sweep did not low profile that, that's for sure. I'm so surprised at that. Ooh, and I, I thought maybe he was going to convert off of that for a minute. He kicked off, how did he drop that? Or not, looked like he may have been able to close out but with the raw damage from that combo. Oh, the chip sure is there. Which part of you hurts the worst? Worth every bit of that laser. Trying to be health lead. Can he force Young to crack? He's played so solid tonight. Oh, go huge plus frames, tries to mix it up there. We saw that work against Dragon. You know, left that big gap the first time and then went immediately into the secondary string, which does end with the lasso that you can't interrupt. Great play by Honeybee. Young. This is, his Supergirl looks very strong for someone we see play Flash 98% of the time. Always keep up, always, yeah. always keep up a secondary just in case. And building the meter with those air throws full screen. Oh my god, and use the, the little tilt world there to close the gap, get a back one into a freeze, drop the combo, however. Young monster creating some more space. Honeybee okay with that. Has a healthy health lead. Has the meter lead. So young really is in a bad spot no matter what, even if even if he uh, decides to clash. Corner we go, great up laser, Honeybee just running away with this match right now. Building that meter, 
full screen is Honeybee. Not a not a care in the world. Does have laser now, he can shoot it, and that should do it, Honeybee up 2-0 now on Young Mustard. Begin. Shades of a top player. Having having something just in case. Always have a backup plan. And who better to do that with than Supergirl? Everybody, you should definitely have a pocket Supergirl. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's a that's that's a that's a friendly neighborhood advice on War of the Gods. Just pick up Supergirl, just in case. Oh my goodness, everything's oh. hitting everywhere. And luckily, he did not get a bigger punish for that. It was Young Monster. He's in a great spot here where he can he can uh, whip it good. Man, this should close it out. Should he not drop it? Is this your limit, Kara? Okay. Oh no, he hit a button. Honeybee unable to recognize it in time. Actually hits him out of that freeze. Doesn't get a full combo. And tosses the roller coaster at him. Or whatever that thing was. Oh, oh! oh. And the re oh, oh my god, him. he brought him back into the state. I'm liking my chances. Less talking, more fighting. Right out. Back in the match we go, Honey Bee. Needs two decent BMBs to turn this around. Potentially, he's getting straight hits here and there, but it's not going to be enough. Needs a full combo. These lasers are adding up. And building all this meter. I mean, look at him. He he is just taunting any movement from Young Monster. When Young Monster moves in, he he has an answer every time. And sent a mind game right back at Young Monster. Meterless Shield Bash versus Meterless Breath. When they have a bar, plus frames could be coming. Some scary stuff. And this is. The way Honeybee is playing Supergirl in this matchup, that's what Wonder Woman typically wants to do to her opponent, is exactly what Supergirl's doing to her. But Young Monster should be quite content with just holding this health lead and forcing Honeybee to come in, but decides to come in and take that damage going into the second health bar. Now Young Monster is in the corner and gonna eat this 4-3 combo. Then power that, bomb. Then that power bomb. Okay, comeback could be initiated here. Young Monster does still have a wager and has the meter lead. I have a feeling Young Monster hasn't done any damage, and he had a whole health bar advantage. Over oh, here we go. Lead. Could have got mixed in. He got beautiful stuff there by Young Monster. Big ol' air to air with that jump three. All right, guys, we're in game number four. In between Honeybee and Young Monster. And Young Monster's already on the approach, but Honeybee calling out the gap early on, trying not to let Young Monster establish some dominance, Echo, because I tell you what, if Young Monster gets a health lead, it's th th this could be a train wreck. Well, you know, uh, if uh, if if Young Monster decides to go in and, and use his, his di oh, and a, and a down two. Oh my god, that, that down two had a big ol' hitbox, let me tell you what! And in back into the corner we go, that down two once again paying dividends. That's the lasso of truth, it ain't lying today. Somebody get some propane around here, damn it, we... Young Monster's losing his health. I tell you, I've seen all kinds of power bombs, I've seen all kinds of moves tonight. This is what I paid for from my WWF pay-per-view. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Aquaman, I'm done. <laughs> Y'all are too much. <laughs> this is all serious business for Young Monster right now. Now activating his little parries to uh, contest those lasers, build a little bit of meter, and not take the chip damage. <laughs> and, and Max Ninja in the chat spelling I B just like just like Dragon did on Twitter. I, I've never been done with somebody in my whole life as much as I was that night. Just like Young Spelling I -E with A I B E. That's just like Young Monster here refusing to give up here in this match, taking a healthy force in the early wager from Honeybee. This is this is looking pretty good for the young brother trying to make this top eight. Holding on to his dear life to this 222 health. But tell you what, these lasers can't taste good. 
Ooh. That call out was massive. It, it, just look at the recovery on that. Hardly any. Back to full screen we go. We've got no lasers. We've got no shields. There's one coming out of nowhere like an RKO coming at Young Monster using using those negative frames just to get in and mixing up really really well with the shield. Uh, meter burn or non-meter burn into the corner we go. Here we go, Young Monster on the approach. Hanging on. There's the magic pixel. Jesus Christ. Actually, he might he might actually run away with this. For top eight, this has been, despite the jokes, it's not all jokes and memes, promise. But somebody will get hurt doing that. Only 90% of the time here on More of the Gods. <laughs> Guys, we like to be as, as, you know, as non-serious as possible. Oh, and the, the trade there. Down one, two, confirms into that shield. Oh Some my good. Goodness. Huge damage. Not even done yet. Almost 500. I walk back after the down one. I love the mind games that Young Monster plays. He's running away with this match right now. That was a good perfect to start us off, ladies and gentlemen. All right, honey, be in the driver's seat. We'll see if he can... Ooh, and the instant wake-up from Young Monster. Not dealing with any of Supergirl's little setups. <laughs> I'm not even Ooh, sure, sure wow. how that even crossed up or didn't cross up. That was disgusting. But Young Monster getting some gigantic unwagerable damage here. Throw out the last one true just in case. And oh my goodness, these guys' projectiles are hitting each other in insane places. Young Monster still pressing the issue, not forcing Honeybee to come in. Just, just being oppressive, trying to chip him out. And the instant air shield! Wow! Young Monster! Turning this around! Only one way to find out, and that's to play it out. Here we go! Dab. Nyx. For top. And the teleport with the down one. Woo! I don't know what button Dab got out, but it sure did save him there. <laughs> and all these lasers. And that that's really going to hog up the airspace that Dab wants to use. Comes in with a low ground pound. Nyx is in the corner trying to use that statue to get himself out. Oh, and that's again. That was very, very good from Dab. It looked like Nyx was going to go for that statue and throw it down. Dab had patience. Whoa, and tried to air grab him out of the teleport. Nice conversion, too, on the fly. Beautiful stuff there by Nyx. Oh, no, huge drop there by Dab. Oh, Ooh. my goodness. Not like Jeez. this. Not the broken he just, stuff. Oh no, he, he can't be hit. He, he, he's invincible. That was actually freaking nuts. He just held it there saying, you can't touch me. Crossed him up in the corner. Dab going for the big damage. It, we're going for even more now. Oh my it's, goodness, it's oh not God, even over. Going. Jesus, 670 goes into the armor. All these double hitting knees. Dead blocked by Dab gonna force the clash. Enjoy your last moments, worm. Do your worst. All right, Nick's trying to get back in the driver's seat here. Brings out the trait, sends it out, teleport. Good block by Dab. And he's only got a bar to work with, but he's going to get some decent damage. Doesn't burn it. He, he's going to bounce cancel. No. This should close it out so long as he doesn't drop it. Nick dies with almost four bars. All right, here we go. Nick's trying to tie this thing up 1-1. One, one. Jumps in and attack by Dab. Nice down two. Avoids that grab, but Dab's gonna capitalize here. Back three. Oh my god, knew that was coming. Down two by Nyx. 200 damage, not much. Gets a trade out. Ooh, beautiful Ooh. conversion. Oh, and catch him on the way up, and that will combo. Nice tech by Dab again, not even afraid. Pick 
up working this time around. Beautiful read. Mita Brent cancel, huge damage. Oh, and he does finally get the upshot conversion. He's been trying that this whole set. Look at this damage. Are you kidding me? Jesus Christ. Seven. Oh, I can't. Jesus. I, I, okay. Like, I've heard the stories about Dav's dark side, but Bruh. this? Bruh. Uh, <laughs> I've never heard you say that, but now I have. Now it's hilarious. All right, Nick's got the trade out. I mean, I mean, I mean what do you say, man? Our dark side was just chilling <laughs> with a bunch of health. Your last <laughs> it's gone. I don't know. Like, he is spending that meter, like Silverout says in the chat, spending the bars, just going for the heavy damage. And now Nyx does not have a clash anymore. And Nyx gets caught by a gunshot trying to jump in the air, trying to teleport. Oh, and still trying to go for the mix. Doesn't punish that down, too. Gets caught by the overhead. Oh, my and goodness. And plus frames, oh. you were first little gunshot. Plus right to the air oh stack. Oh, my God, and grabbed him out of the teleport. Oh my goodness! I don't... Oh, come dabs on. or best MK Raidens? And oh my oh, goodness, why is Nyx on. coming in here with Hellboy in the mirror with a by far better looking Hellboy? I, I, don't, I didn't even catch which one is which. I, I gotta Lord. catch up. Okay, so Nyx has the glowing gauntlet. Okay. Nyx actually picked the demon skin for a demon. So far, he's dab with a little taste of his own medicine here. Good cancel. That actually will uh, Oki them Ooh. on wake up when you do the after that. Big drop here by Dab. Oh my goodness, floats everywhere. Jack's nothing. Or sorry, I say Jack's Dab. Nothing this comeback going for us, the big boy damage and a taste of his own medicine with the gunshot on wake up. Ooh, both oh. hits connecting. What the hell was that? <laughs> that is my favorite quote from Hellboy in this game. No, no what? Got him with what the up gunshot, okay. Wake up on up gunshot. We, we are officially in 2017, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god. Dab with the air grab. Aren't you the sad sack? That crap's getting old. And Nick's trying to trying to mount to come back here. Gets a little bit of health back. He's got to get himself on the board. The, the problem is he is he is now stuck with with Hellboy. Even if he wins, he is gonna have to do this mirror unless Dab switches. Dab putting so much damage on the table. He just sit there and take oh it. Oh my god. Alright, not completely out of here is Nyx. Oh, he didn't commit! Oh, wait a minute, he mixed him up. You got a snowball's chance in hell. Shove it up your ass. Woo! <laughs> Hellboy wasn't having any of that. A great lead here for Dab, looking to 3-0 this man and making the winner's top bait, and he does with Hellboy. <laughs> All right, Tweety coming in, forward two, and the trait cancel. And this is the matchup that we saw on Friday, just two days ago. And it was 3-0, and it got nasty at the end. Deoxys made every good read possible. The instant jump ones. This man was half of the Sistine Chapel reaching in the sky. Oh, a nice catch with that 4-2-3 from Tweety. Meter burns. Background bounce, which you usually don't see with Superman. Oh, and the, the instant jump once from Tweety, expecting the Oxus to do a little bit of Blue Beetle shenanigans in the air. Good blocks by Tweety in the down two. Good start here from Tweety. Nothing more than a nuisance. This is this is tournament Tweety. This might be a completely different monster than we saw on Friday. 
is the man of steel and the man of no nerves, man of comebacks, Tweety the Bird. I mean, there, there's definitely a difference in players. You know, if you if you play them, you know, in an exhibition uh, versus playing them in tournament, you know, there's there's a lot of players out there that you know just have that different level that they play on. And Tweety right now, looking very solid, coming in with the air dash into a jump one force on the clash. That's not what I had planned. Air lasers perfectly here is Tweety. Coming down with that jump one, still active and actually bit out the air escape. And that's gonna hurt. Not gonna kill, but it's definitely gonna. I mean, he's already clashed, so. Oh my god, and bends the handrail. The Ox is looking for a down two there. Tweety catches him with the laser that hits absolutely. Hey man, you gotta do what you gotta do to win. Yeah. I mean, but, you know, come on man, put the scarab back on. This is a character that haunted Tweety for a long time. Samish uh, really owned him early on in the early season one top eights and top 16s. And Catwoman in general is, is built decently to fight Superman. Right, Meter burn back three. And it, wake up. I, I can't remember what that actually called rising the little air grab. grab. Yeah, there you go, rising grab. I didn't want to call it air grab because it's a wake up, but either way. Throws a statue, used to be Ooh. unblockable. Amazing down two and, and back off to a health lead. Ooh. There's Tweety and it might be gone. Ooh, no conversion by Deoxys. He might be a little bit rusty with Catwoman here. Let's find out. Down one scoop, working out for Tweety. Did not work out on Friday. He actually tried down one scoop a couple times. The strong protect the weak. Off to an amazing start, Tweety. This is this is this is a different guy. Yes, it is. I mean, we've seen so many clutch factors from Tweety. Not just in Justice, but at MKX as well. This man thrives in a tournament setting. Back threes under that jump. Jump in one. Not sure if Deoxys was crouching or if he just tried to anti or too late. But he got hit. And Deoxys just kind of lost <laughs> right now. Gets hit by a dive bomb. This is for Bruce. It won't help him. This is how you know Tweety is playing at his apex, his prime, is when he's going for the tricks, when he's going for the dive bombs. Ooh, that, 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 that neutral jump one has been paying huge dividends here in this match. And that one scoop works again. Has no bar. Does have a trait though. He pops in. He goes KO Ken times 10 here. But it does get down to. And no punish on the rising grab there. A cat dash out of nowhere. Should close out the first health bar, but has the damage been done? Deoxys has already used his clash. He only has a bar. And that meter burn laser is going to do it. 2-0 Tweety. Throughout the rest of that match. Again. Yeah, once once Deoxys was kind of put in a corner and, and was not even close as far as health bars go, he just he just looked very apprehensive to really get anything going. You see him challenge a lot of stuff with Blue Beetle. You just didn't see him challenge with Catwoman. Familiarity. And the dash up Tweety knew. After that after that shield, Deoxys was gonna backdash or push a button. Good read by Tweety. And a nice block. That's the first time we've seen that blocked all night. He does We're not actually gonna want see to deal. He does not want to deal with that corner interactable. Coming in! Oh! Oh! Black Manta coming up with the assist. More balls plan to set play. And this neutral by Tweety. These neutral jumps. And they've been working. I mean, he'll do one, two, three. And the Oxus tries to come in and hit a button, and he'll actually get hit. Trey comes on, and no cancel on down two. That's what Beatles love to do. They want you to press those buttons afterwards. Potentially get full combo launched. The damage might be done here. Deoxys is going to need a miracle here. And a sash wake up after my three. Down two. Oh my god. Out of the corner we go, but there's an unblockable statue sitting there. Just chilling. Oh! 
And he tries to get him with the back forward. That was three thousands of years game. old, you savage! He's dead. Blocks by Tweety. Good blocks by Tweety. Tweety has done his homework. Tries to meet him with. Oh! You're freaking out the scarab. Stop pleading and fight. I like that from Superman. You just get it over with. I don't have much to say. Let's get it over with and fight. Tweety checking any sort of down two there with that down one after the trade cancel. The trade. There's two things I'm taking away from this match is that Tweety is playing much slower than he did on Friday. And the neutral jumps every single time. They're paying off almost every single time. They wake up Superman punch at Tweety. 3 0 over Deoxys. I mean. <laughs> Quan Chi is rocking Red Hood. Quan Chi every every damn time. All right. Scar will get the first amount of meter here. Nubcake's getting some damage early on. Puts him closer to the corner. Oh, and the meter burned it anyway. The late meter burn on that mine. Nubcake's maybe trying to go in and press a button in the hard to blockable. That jump in isn't overhead and that mine is a low. Scar looking impressive so far. What a start here, sending a message. That, Wake up down two. I'm amazed at how many anti-air snub kicks gets with that down two. Every time I see it. That that was fairly frank. That's 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 been forbidden for a long time to, for Batman to down two, and Nubcakes make it look like it's a top tier weapon for this character. Catch him with the low at the end of that string. Oh, and the meter burn cancel goes over the cross up, but the back three goes under the, the air tech. Don't waste my time. Nubcakes definitely still in this thing, not that far behind in health, and definitely not now. Should even out the health. Scar with a big frisk there, raw 4 3 there. Well, Batman had his trade bat out, did go with punished. And escape in the corner there with that setup, too. Really good stuff. It does get the conversion, sets this hard to block him up, and he does get it. Oh, uh, Nubcakes gets himself out of there Ooh. with the little float and then a down, too. Nubcakes still in this thing. Don't count this man out just yet. Scar's got to find a way out of this. Maybe tried to go for a throw right there, I'm not sure, after that restand, but he did hit a button. Oh, and got him with a cross Oh up. my goodness! Scar actually dashed forward and got hit with the cross up. Wait a minute, this is going down to the wire for the first game. We're in chip out territory. One more, one more anything. And he catches him and going Scar's for the startup of a battering. It looks like window uh, stages. You see a lot of big damage here out of either one of these guys. Tries to cross him up, trait cancels, conversions, and converts off of it. Meter burns, plus frames. Doesn't have a bat to trait cancel with, but he does now. Ooh, and luckily, oh. yeah. Invisible frames were there. And in the corner we go, this could be a perfect start here by Nubcakes, working on a hood perfect. But speaking of Hood, Red Hood putting Batman into the corner here. Oh, no, oh, no. Unfortunate there for Scar. Gets hit by the down two as well. Don't waste my time. Updates like last match never even happened, Echo. He erased it from his memory. I, and that's what we've come to love about Nubcakes I, and War of the Gods so far. I swear that these top players, when they lose a match, the men in, ba the men in black come in, they red flash him, and then just keep going. It's like it never happened. <laughs> we need a remake of that movie, by the way. That would be nice. Even though the original is still a classic. Holds up very well. Smart by Nubcakes there to avoid that... The backwards lunge wake up and the forward lunge by Scar and a backwards lunge. Nice conversion here by Nubcakes. Catching Scar out of that interactable. Delays the forward three into a throw plus frames. Trades out does get the hit. Really good using the plus frames to move forward while that mine was active on the ground. 
Great backdash there. Scarred still hasn't used his clash. A mirror burn forward three. There's no place to hide. I'm standing my ground. And this is still bad for Scar if he does wager. This isn't gonna get anything. Now he's gonna lose everything if he wagers. And a oh, and got him with the back two three. It's a good luxury to have. Absolutely. And, and especially two strings that travel and are safe on block and are mids. Lit. <laughs> oh! Surrounds himself with the mechanical bats for the anti air for almost 400 damage. Had that conversion on deck. Scar tries to meter burn back three, and we have seen Nubcakes break so much armor with that normal tonight. It's not even funny. And I did see in the chat somebody said if, if they were to remake Men in Black, who would take the roles of J and K? How about just have the same actors? That's what I say. Scar turning this around. Nubcakes is off to a huge health lead. Deficit being erased right now by Scar calling out. The air escape. Get him with that cross. Don't waste my time. My producer in the back saying that it should be the <laughs> is it the Rock and Kevin Hart. No. Oh God. Although I'm down for the Rock being in anything and everything. Oh. In the in the cinematic world, just put the Rock in every movie. It's gonna be good. I agree. Keeping us close to Scar here. The call out with the jump too. Nubcake's running away with this one. Scar's got to find some momentum. Tries to go with the forward lunge, back dashes. Nubcake's with the little delay there in the air. Sends him traveling down the elevator. This may not kill. 25 hit points remaining. But Scar may be able to pull this off. Leaves it unclashable, oh, and the, the I, wake up slide. I think he thought that that might. But it's going to be with different actors, and I I used to post the Wesley Snipes all the time. Like, can we please, stop? Can, can, please, can we stop <laughs> remaking classics that you're not going to make better? White man can't exactly. jump as a classic. You're not going to make something better than White man can't jump by doing White man can't jump with different actors. Yeah, I want I want Wesley Snipes and Woody Harrelson. That's that's why I'm I, that's why I'm low key triggered <laughs> about the Lion King. Okay, it's like the greatest of all time. I don't want it ruined with this live action one. Not to say that all all the voice actors they picked were are ridiculous, but I don't want that ruined. Let's get back to this match. That's, all right. All right, scarred. The health is dead even pretty much. Scar's got to find a way to open Nubcakes up. Nubcakes has just been kind of steamrolling. Catches the backdash with the meter burn battering. Comes down with the people's elbow, which is punishable. And here we go. Scar getting some momentum. Sets up the mine. Tried to come in with the hard to block blockable. Nubcakes one bar of health now. has put up an amazing fight so far and he has to put up an even bigger one if he wants to send us to a game number five gets a hit there he could even us out here and what a read on the upstart throwing that bad boy to the sky Go on the film reels at him if you do meet a burn that they will throw three i don't know how common knowledge that is to some of the newer people in injustice but and, and the, the third hit does catch gone. people off guard that do not know that. <laughs> Guns aren't the answer. That's a good clash by Nubcake, so he doesn't go full screen there. I have to eat that zoning again. He's got plenty of meter, keeping us even. Maybe getting a little bit of a health lead here. The neutral jump, working out here. Oh, and he loads a trait mid combo, burns the meter for the restand. I am vengeance. I'm Batman. And he is Batman, apparently. For Scar. Amazing recognition of where the Nubcakes was on the screen and looking for that interactable. Done their homework and what? Oh my god, everything is working now for Scar. He hasn't done a single thing wrong in about 20, 15 seconds. Scar needs this. He needs to tie this thing up, take us to a last game. And 
No parry there by Nubcakes. Scar with the patience, just walking back. And he's playing defense, trying to find an opening. And he blocked everything except for the end of back two, three of all things there. And I think what he was looking for is probably a lunge to jump forward and punish Batman for it, but maybe the input was off. Close to the kill. Scar is close to losing this. Coming out the people's elbow oh and back God. to it afterwards. End up kicks. Just take it three to one. Over. And then he, he 3 0'd Han Rashid. 3 0'd Soldier Alec. Oh my goodness. And am, am I even reading this right? Am I about to freak right out? Okay, looks like he used Hellboy on Emperor Combat in, in, uh, in that set, but Brainiac to beat Han Rashid and Soldier Alec. Oh my god, he went under the. Whatever that interactable is. Nice down two conversion here. But Titanium Tiger says barely taking any damage. Nyx can't get out of the corner. So little accomplished. So little accomplished. Here's accomplished their entire health bar in 20 seconds, bro. Oh, and tried to get the convert there. Okay, and now Nyx is out of the corner. Able to play a little bit of his game. And caught him with the overhead, and this is going to be some big damage. 4 3. Doesn't want the accidental stage transition. And this is where things get oh tricky. Answers right back. Okay, no, we got an air tech. Never mind. They're escaping. This is the battle of the big baddies for DC Universe right here. At the cross up diet. Oh, hey! no. And just wads himself into a ball of tentacles. With that that ambiguous jump in the Brainiac possesses. Nice instant air laser. It looked for a minute like Nyx was going to answer back with his own semi-flawless there, or perfect. Then things just started going downhill. Back three. And Titanium Tigers has been waking up almost every single time he's down. And I'm not sure what Darkseid possesses to blow that wake up up. You can definitely do it. A lot of, lot of time, or a lot of Big window, I guess what I'm looking for to interrupt that. Oh wait a minute! Inferior being. Dark side will have victory. Nyx doesn't have anything to contest with here. Tigers will get 25% back. And even though Nyx has the health lead, he is gonna take so much more damage as Dark Side if oh, he gets no. hit. Tigers could have ended that there with, with an X dive kick! The meter back three! What a read from Emperor Nyx! Nyx able to make an adjustment there more so I, I don't know if that's a big reason for it but i know that's that's something that happened now tigers going with hellboy and we saw this earlier with dab versus nix and this is this is who got tigers here is hellboy against the man who was on a roll and that's emperor combat and nix trying to avenge his teammate his emperor brethren Oh, and a meter burn back three through it. That's very interesting. Some huge damage. Interesting that Tigers goes with this matchup when we saw an absolute epic with Nyx against Hellboy just to get here. Back to the we go. Like, nice invasion here is Tigers. Does have a health deficit. And I. I I thought that people can just get away with murder with not spending the bar on things that are plus if they do so. It plays a great mind game and it gets people, you're reacting too late, you can catch them off guard, press a button, press a down one or a down two. Really good mind games they can play. Yeah, that, I find myself just, uh, you know, letting him do that for free, not going with the punish, just because that, that meter burn at the end of that special is just... It's so damaging, and what he gets off of it is, is another story as well. And that, I just saw Tigers do the same thing that Dab did. Tap your tremendous power. Shove it up your ass. They blocked, <laughs> they blocked an EX knee and reversal with gunshot, and I've seen it work twice now. And I'm kind of disgusted. Ooh. And Titanium Tiger is going to answer back, tied up 1 1. Game Aquaman. He's not even. Stop thinking Raiden's in this game. Not even in the game. All right. 
Tiger's on the offensive here, pushes Nyx to the corner. And now we may be going to the other side. A nice punish there by Tiger's, a back three. Coming in for some massive oh, damage. Oh, 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 taking the reset. a reset. Lawless. Putting me to sleep here. Full screen. Oh my goodness. Not like this. That gunshot. What is going on? Oh, in the trade. Nick's having none of it. 361. Not huge damage. Oh my god. Okay. Not sure the scaling on this one. But Nick's making a lot of good conversions here, but he's got to get rid of Tiger's first health bar. He's got to do it quick. Nice. Nice air to air there by Nick. Mixed by Tigers. Hang on, this health lead catching the startup of the teleport. Enjoy your last moment, worm. Do your worst. Barely making it through that laser. A lot of back the frames on him. Great down to reaction. Ooh, Tigers is playing great, great tonight. Yeah, this this hell. Oh, oh, and he got him on the other side. <laughs> you thought you were something more mid or overhead, sir. <laughs> Here we go. Nyx has woken up the beast. And brings Hellboy out. Giving Tigers a little bit of his own medicine. We saw this against Dab. Where he brought out Hellboy against him. Down two. Not really going to some major damage there. And the gunshot not saving him against his own wake up. The Epidex is just going in right now. And the cross up into a down one oh with punishes that down two. And ju just Nick's playing very solid. Just like with Dab, he just says, screw it. Here's Hellboy right back at you. And he does have an incredibly solid one. Yes, he does. Has everything down. Going and off right now. You know, it, 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 he's got some similar uh, type tools to, uh, you know, Probably very familiar with Dark Side, you know, that once he's in the air, is at the low, is at the overhead. He's got some big damage. Oh, and a down one. Special cancels into the shoulder and a down two by Tigers. Ne will this combo have the damage? No. I'm also very curious if Tigers loses Not this, if we will see first. Brainiac. You want to talk about air to air supremacy? What's going to beat out that dive kick in the air? Absolutely. Absolutely. And one, one more hit, chip, anything is going to take us to a game number five. Does Tigers have it in him to make the comeback? No, with the chip damage alone. He did very well. He, yeah, I remember the first week he was up there. I don't remember exactly what place, but uh, going back to that, the, the very last week before the finals, he actually made top eight. A lot of, you know, pulled a lot of upsets that week as we we're rearing down to the end of the season. I, I, that's that's what you want to do with Hellboy. You want to stagger, especially if guys kind of know your your leap tricks here and there. You know, just down two, four dashes. So you mix it up with raw four twos. You can you throw in some lows in there with a four two low, low cancel. Stay in their face. A lot of mind games you can play with Hellboy. Yeah, you, you see Nick's. You know, really, they'll do the leaps. They'll cancel. They'll come in with the jump or a normal. Or uh, the the ground pound or normal. He he does it. He makes it up really well. Oof. And oh my God, the air dash crosses tigers up, taking this damage now. Where do you go? And waking up with the leap, getting out of there for free. Cashing in that card. But still taking the first bar valve here is tigers. Ooh, a lot of a lot of health gone on it there. sword been this entire time it's magic that's what tigers with the push block wants to keep that little bit of health he had left and tries to punish the black magic with that revolver not sure if it's a straight punish or not but it is quick enough to check him pushing anything afterwards next and we're getting some damage Feel conducts wrath. 
Shove it up your ass. From being on the verge of being double eliminated now by Hellboy, he said, screw this, I'm picking him. I'm sick of this crap. I mean, sometimes that's just what you gotta do. You get tired of Catwoman, just pick Catwoman then. Barely. Just give her a taste of her own medicine. Barely getting out of that air, air throw. Okay. A lot of health gone. Has to hold the wake up gunshot. Ooh, I had a feeling that, that bad boy was coming. Oh, this is a bad situation. Nyx, yeah. And just like that, Nyx with help. That's just really. A, that's just a guess. Uh, I don't. Mm. Okay, we'll, we'll we'll find out. They 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 did this in MK. They they played each other's characters in Mortal Kombat, and very well. Uh, let's uh, yeah. We'll we'll just we'll just ignore it. See what happens here. Honeybee with the down one into the frost breath. Nice conversion there. Three nineteen. Done a little bit of meter there. Ooh, and a very deep jump in to continue the juggle. Power bomb off the top rope. Back dashes knew that, or backwards air dash knew that wake up was coming. Rip it down. A huge health deficit. Has a great position though, into the corner. If you're just gonna raw back too, would've got some big damage there. Into the low. Ooh, and knew he wasn't going to be able to convert off of that. Knew it wasn't going to freeze, but it's going to have a little bit of block stun. Goes in for the throw. Good stuff by Honeybee so far. A sexy parry, though, by Revit. Young Monster, take notes. Young Monster, watch Young Monster right to, to, to actually get a parry on, on a trait laser by Supergirl? That's, that's ridiculous. And here we go. We saw a lot of this earlier. By Honeybee, just building meter full screen. A nice punish. Ooh, and cashes out some bigger damage than before. Good awareness there by Honeybee and a whiff punish. The crack! Gosh, NRS, he, he, you guys designed him so well. It looks like he could be in the game. Uh, we said that in, in the first season. Honeybee going up one game. Not him. Mess. <laughs> Key word there. Shots fired. Will Revit take this? And try to, to. Nice confirm there. Try to continue his run. His brother having a fantastic week trying to join him there in top eight. Has been eluding them. They've been getting ninth place an awful lot. Yeah, young monster has already solidified himself in the top eight. Let's see if Rabbit Leaping can do the same and got a cross up on that pounce. And just look at this damage: 574. And Honeybee with the swaggy stuff. Background bounces on deck. Ooh, and off to a good start here. Nice. Is this Revit leafing. That one one was definitely a little bit, little bit suspect. And what a punish! Full screen by Revit. That was sexy. I'm not sure what Honeybee was going for with the full screen forward three, but Revit able to capitalize on that situation. And we're not even done yet. Holy sh! 500 damage. Trades up. This is where the big damage comes in. Honeybee pretty much going to make this trait useless. Oh, no! Don't tug on my cape. I'll flay you for the goddess. Honeybee always saving one. He's got a big health deficit to, to try to overcome right now. Ate a lot of plus frames there. Re Revit loves playing the mind games of backdashing, pouncing, backdashing, pouncing. Ooh, got a good trade there. Trying to come in. And oh my goodness. Oh, no. oh there's one thing the drop kick oh, off the straight. Got it. Oh my goodness. All right, finally we get to see the flash in action. Both of these guys finally picking their main characters for a situation to get into top eight this week. 
this is this is water polo cheetah right here. Looking like she's about to enter the Olympics. <laughs> she barely has anything on. Revit, why do you even have this loadout? Bare bones as it gets. Ooh, what a conversion oh trait. That was disgusting. Oh my goodness. Honeybee's health bar is gone. Your flesh will taste sweet. And I agree with Silver Eye. Please go, Vixen. That, that, that skin is hype. Okay, Honeybee trying to get something going now. Oh no! Crosses up the wake up. Revit leaping on a tear, barely taking any damage this entire set. Oh, and it just it keeps adding on here. Has 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 another bar, can do it again! One more mixed up and Honeybee is dead and down 2-0. Or 2-1, I'm sorry. Revit leap. Begin. Oh, we all know how much you love only the flash. A little bit. All right, Honeybee, all these running man stances, Revit leaping with, with the patience. We're trying to jump instead of backdash. Honeybee to wake up down one. There's some damage, more than he got in the entire last game. A wake up by Revit leaping, not wanting to deal with any of those Oki setups. A lot of meter build here by Honeybee. Revit leaping, scouting it out. Able to capitalize 417 damage. Mix incoming. Oh, and that's a full punish. Oh, misses those last two hits, which are crucial. Oh, oh there we go. Sniped him out of the air. Honeybee bringing himself back to life. And it looked like Leaping actually crossed him up, but got hit by that... Got hit by that special from Honeybee and actually got himself put back in the corner. That was that was kind of an interesting turn of events there. Okay, Honeybee building some meter running man stances. And phases. Gets hit by the sweep. It does have a oh super. my god, so instant. And that has a 100% hit rate on War of the Gods, and it continues! On the sweep, Honeybee not watching his feet. The sweep again tries to break the 4 3 meter burn. And there it Wait is! Wait a minute! Revit. Revit leafing! Oh my god. Three! Oh, after coming off of Wonder Woman. And into top eight, Revit leafing goes.